by WWE Diva Natalia. And we're happy to say that General Manager Mick Foley has indeed inked the contract, making this official. It's the great Kali, Hornswoggle, and Natalia taking on Primo, Epico, and Rosa Mendez in a three on three mixed tag team match. The mayhem begins now. And you know that guy that you call clumsy, the great Kali? How about we have a nice six-person tag next week? So now Rosa Mendez will team with Epico and Primo to take on Natalia and her two friends. to have the Intercontinental Champion three times now joining Absolutely. us ringside for commentary. Well, it feels great that I get the opportunity to speak to the youth of the day on the Saturday Morning Slam show and hopefully educate them. And the rules of this six-person tag team match as we educate all of you, the Divas will face the Divas. The superstars will face the Superstars. So if Rosa were to tag the Epico or Primo, Natalia would be forced to make the tag to either the great Kali or Hornswap. Well, in my opinion, it's very difficult to predict this kind of matchup, but a team is only as good as its weakest link, and you have to say the two weak links in this case will be Rosa and Hornswoggle, to purely because of the fact they've spent the least amount of time in the ring of the two sides. Quick takedown, though, by Rosa, who grew up in Vancouver, Canada, studied business at university before coming to WWE. Small turkey, no doubt about that. Suplex and a float over. Natalia down and kicks out in two. Natalia, a former Divas champion here in WWE. Interesting that these superstars let the Divas get us started here in this matchup, Wade. It is very interesting. And uh, look at the, the technical style of Natalia. Through here. Going against the, the very unorthodox style of Rosa Mendes, so we say. Unorthodox is one way to put the style of, of Rosa. Half the time, I'm not sure she knows what she's doing in there. Nice take down there by Natalia. Grabs it for the sharp 
sure. There we go. This could be over very quick here. And Rosa doing a great job of just wiggling her way over the corner, having to go in primo. Making it to the bottom rope, forcing Natalia to break the hole. I think Rosa wisely tied it out there. I think she was, uh, she had met more than a match in Natalia. I think I agree with you, Wade, right? as now Natalia will be forced to tag to either Hornswoggle or the great Kali. And I believe Primo wants Hornswoggle in this match, and Primo's going to get what he asked for. Surprisingly, Hornswoggle didn't seem intimidated at all. He wants to get in there and fight. A lot of confidence being shown this morning here. On Saturday morning, slammed by Hornswoggle as well as Primo has now turned his back and uh oh. Oh dear, the rule one in the ring never turn your back on your opponent. Especially when the great Kali's on the apron. And now the mood of Primo will certainly change as he wants to make the tag to Epic. Oh, just says, ah, not so fast. He certainly seems to lose his confidence very quickly. We'll see if Primo, Epico, and Rosa can get on the same page as anyone going to face the great Kali here this morning on Saturday morning slam. Oh. Hello, WWE Universe. I'm your favorite Saturday morning slam diva, Natalia. Growing up in the Hart family, I've been surrounded by this my entire life. But the moves that I perform in the ring are dangerous. So don't ever duplicate them. Be smart. Be safe. Don't try this. Here's your wake-up call on Saturday morning slam six-person tag team action. Charlie has been completely dominant, as you would expect. I mean, he's a changed man since he fell in love with Natalia. The, the true horns wobble as their adopted child, so to speak. And now the great Kali down for the first time. Epico going to work. And that's the key to find a big man in there. You get a seven-foot monster in there like the great Kali, you need to take him off, the, off his feet. Even up the odds a little. Look of concern on the face of Natalia. So, Wade, do you agree with this strategy here? Quick tags by Primo and Epico. 100% Primo and Epico, incredibly small, incredibly experienced, and they're doing the right thing here. Quick tags to one another, stay fresh, keep the big man down, this is your big chance. Primo and Epico, former tag team champions here in WWE. Wade, you've led a lot of groups here in WWE to a lot of success. Is there a leader here that you're seeing as Epico goes for the cover and a kick out as, in either of these teams? As far as I can tell, I mean, the uh, Epico and Primo, they're both equals in there. Both equally experienced, both equally talented, and, uh, you know, both equally strong in the ring. And uh, they're having a lot of success in there right now with the great Carly. Is it safe to say that Hornswoggle's the leader of his group? I sincerely hope not. I think they're in big trouble if he is. And now Epico! Got caught there. We'll see if Primo can have better success against the great Kali, who this time has to roll out of the way. Great Kali like a cat. Moving out of the way so fast. Amazing reflex. And what is going on here? Look at Horns Wagon. Getting up to no good as you would expect. Rosa Mendez giving chase to Hornswoggle. What a strategy set up by Hornswoggle and Natalia, and you said that Hornswoggle's not the leader. Absolutely scandalous behavior. Opens up a window for the great Kali, and he is capitalizing. There goes Epico. Primo now trying to get his hands on Hornswoggle. Easier said than done. Runs into the brick wall known as the great Kali. Things look very bleak for Primo right here. Punjabi plunge. Kali falls into the cover. Saturday morning slam. Well, I think the audience might be having 
Gets some fun and certainly Charlie, Natalia, and Holtz on the line with Paul Primo. He's down to 